Hello everyone. Today, uh, me and my teammate Pankaj will be discussing about the braking system of a tractor. Uh, so next slide, please. Yeah. Before coming, uh, before talking about the braking system of a tractor, let's discuss about the uh, brakes. So a brake is a mechanical device that inhibits the motion by absorbing the energy from a moving system. Like it is mainly used to uh, slow down or stop the moving vehicle and to prevent its motion. So let's discuss about the braking system of a tractor. So it is one of the most important system that is used in a tractor to slow down or stop the motion. And due, like during the field operation, it helps in taking sharp turns by applying differential brakes on two rear wheels. The brakes that we use, uh, the, the brakes use the financial force to reduce the motion of the vehicle and uh, the concept of friction is used to convert the kinetic energy into heat. Uh, next slide. Uh, so the principle of operation, uh, brakes mainly works on the principle of friction. Like when a moving element is brought into contact with the stationary element, the motion of the moving element is affected. And this is mainly due to the frictional force, which acts in the opposite direction of the motion and converts the kinetic energy into the heat energy. Next slide. Uh, so there are, uh, let's discuss about the types of brakes that are used in tractors. So there are two types of brakes that are mechanical brakes and the hydraulic brakes. Mechanical brakes are further divided into drum type and disc type. And drum type are of two types. First is internal expanding shoe type and second is external contracting shoe type. So talking about the drum brakes. Uh, so drum brakes are the brakes that uh, that has brakes, brake drums with that rotate with the. Multiple oil cool discs are used in wet brake system. Even in hot situations, this oil allows the wet disc brakes to maintain a low temperature while providing fast stopping action. Wet brakes numerous discs are the key to stopping force in even in the heaviest machinery. Next slide. There are a lot of differences between wet brakes and dry brakes. Like wet disc brakes are positioned internally and not exposed to the elements. And wet braking system requires less maintenance. And wet braking system uses multiple discs, while dry braking system consists of single disc brakes. Next slide. Now we need to see why wet brakes are required. Because dry tractor brakes are external and cannot be exposed to those circumstances, they cannot be used in wet farm tractors. On the inside of the automobile, a wet braking system is fitted directly in the differential. A car with a wet brake is stopped by hydraulic pressure. Next slide. Now let us see how wet brakes work. In multiple discs, wet brakes use multiple discs which are positioned in oil or transmission fluid. Hydraulic pressure. Hydraulic pressure is used for stopping. Internal braking. As a result of oil or fluid used, the disc remain cool and aren't supposed to merge debris and extreme weather conditions. Low maintenance and long life. Next slide. Over the past few years, the take rate of air disc brake has been steadily growing. Air brake air brakes work using compressed air instead of hydraulic fluid. Air brakes can be either drum brakes or disc brakes. The air compression then pumps the air into the air storage tank, which stores the compressed air until it's needed. Next slide. Taking effectiveness of 50 to 80 percent is preferable since it is sufficient for the brake to perform its function and it's also safer. Higher efficiency brakes are, can stop the tractor in a matter of seconds, but the above stop can be hazardous. The type and efficiency of brakes should be chosen based on the needs. Thank you.